You don't always need to buy web hosting and domain names at the same provider. For example here, I have a domain name I bought at Namecheap and the web hosting plan on Scala Hosting. So in this video, I'll show you how to link these two together. First things first, you'll need to log into your Scala hosting account. Next, click on the S panel button next to the plan you bought to access your server dashboard. Once inside, you'll need to click on the create a new account button. For the domain, type in the domain name you want to add. I have scalatuts.com that I bought at Namecheap. Then create your login information to manage the website and click on the create account button. Now we'll need to point the scalatuts.com domain to use the Scala hosting servers. I'll show you two methods of how to do this. And it's actually a quite simple process that's almost identical for every web hosting provider and not just Scala hosting. After you've created your account, you'll see this information. The most important part for us here is the IP address, name server 1 and name server 2 information. Let's keep this open for now and open a separate browser tab. Look into the account where you bought your domain name. For me, it's Namecheap and try to navigate to the DNS area or domain management. In Namecheap, you can do so by clicking on manage next to your domain name. Next, click on the advanced DNS section and next to the host records, you'll need to click on the add new record button. Choose the A record option. In the host section, type in the add symbol and for the IP, just go back to the Scala hosting page you left open and paste in the IP address. Now, click on the add new record once again, but this time choose CNAME. In the host tab, type in www and for the value, simply use your domain name without the www. For me, it's scalatuts.com. This way, both scalatuts.com and www.scalatuts.com will lead to my Scala hosting server. But okay, admittedly, this is the more complicated way of doing things. There's a more simple method that I'll show you next, but it doesn't always work, so it's good to learn both. Once inside the Namecheap domain manage area, you'll see the name server section. Click on it and choose custom DNS. Now we can copy paste the information from the table earlier. So head on back to the Scala hosting tab we had opened previously, copy the information next to the name server one and paste it in Namecheap. Repeat the same step for name server 2. Don't forget to save your changes by clicking this little check mark here. As I mentioned before, this doesn't always work. Some providers allow more complex name servers to be used, however, Namecheap doesn't. It's always good to start with the name server method, but if it doesn't work, go to the IP address changes directly. Okay, at this point our Namecheap domain and Scala hosting servers are linked. Usually, this process takes around 10 to 20 minutes to take effect. You can always check if it's linked by visiting whatismydns.net and typing in your website name. The IP address should match with the one in your Scala hosting tab. Now, you can fully manage this website by going into your Scala hosting server management panel and clicking on Actions, then Manage. For example, I've quickly installed WordPress on this website and you can see it works. As a bonus tip, let me show you how to turn this not secure message into a padlock by installing an SSL certificate for free. Once inside your S panel, simply click on SSL certificates, click on actions, and finally install free SSL. And that's it. This is how you link your server with any domain name you like, and even get a free SSL certificate as a bonus. If you're on a website creating journey, check out this video, where I show you how to create a professional email addresses. See ya.